So I've removed the wheel, supported the car, removed the inner wing and also the big plastic engine cover that goes under the engine. I'm going to change this lower suspension arm because it failed the MOT. Apparently on this bush here. So I'm going to remove the entire arm. There are some nut you have to undo these, which is 18 millimeter. That down there. And there's also some there which are 16 millimeter. So it's best to get 16 millimeter spanner and socket, 18 millimeter spanner and socket. So I shall loosen all of these nuts and then continue. So they're all loose now. I need to remove this strengthening thing. It should be four bolts, but I've got one missing. These are 13 millimeter. And you also need to undo this, which is also 13 millimeter. Now, this bolt there is a long one. You take this nut off and the bolt slides that way. Now, because this is here, it stops the bolt sliding backwards. All this is is part of the radiator support. So you go to the front under the bumper Looks like someone's taken this one off before because there's a little square cut out and there's an 18 millimeter nut that you take out and then it allows you to manhandle this bar out of the way so I shall remove that it's also probably a good idea to move the ABS sensor wires out of the way this just pulls apart and you can unhook the sensor from these rings. So I've unclipped the sensor. You can remove it if you like. All you need to do is unclip it from there. It's just a small screwdriver shoved up, but I'll leave it hanging. Otherwise, I'll forget to put it back on again. So now I'm going to remove all of the nuts from down there. All the bolts are out, so I need to break this ball joint. You could either use a ball joint splitter or get a crowbar in and really hammer it down. This one's coming off easy by the looks of it. two hands to get this long nut out you need to move this bar out of the way so that the nut can slide far enough back I'm just manhandling it with a crowbar it doesn't need to come out all the way just to about there So after a lot of hammering and wrestling, it's finally off. Now you can see why you have to move this out of the way, because that bolt is just enormous. You'll need this and this to put up, fit onto your new one for the ABS sensor. And this rubber here is the reason it failed the MOT, the same on the other side, but I've already changed that one. The rubbers themselves can be changed, but you're still going to have to take this off. And you might as well buy new ones because this ball joint's a bit shite as well, so... That's off. Now I need to fit the new one. So there's the new one. As you can see, the rubber is a hell of a lot better, stiffer. I've put the 
ABS sensor clip on. Don't forget to put this around the ball joint. And now I need to stuff it back onto the car. Now when refitting the ball joint, there's a little ridge in the joint there. This is so the ball joint goes up there and this bolt goes through there and it's held in place by the bolt wedging onto that little lip. So you have to make sure that when you put the ball joint in it goes right up. Well it's all back on, the nuts are on loose, that's all gone in nicely. Remembering to keep your ABS sensor bracket on. So now just got to go around and tighten up all the bolts to the correct tightening gubbins. Well that's it all on, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Nice new piece, nice and steady. It's taken me about three hours maybe, and that was with a stop for lunch. So now I need to put this wheel in a wing back on and the plastic underbelly. So it's all back together now, so all that's left to do is put the wheel on. <laughs> 